Chris Chinock for Display Central. I'm in the Forever Project area within the Futures Park uh, uh, section of uh, NAB 2014. Uh, they're showing actually two demos uh, today uh, of, uh, of uh, well, two transmission standards uh, using uh, DVB2 and, uh, and DASH. Uh, so in the Dash demo, this is a, a, a way to deliver content. It's uh, adaptive uh, bitrate streaming, um, and what they're doing is um, is they've got four different um, encodes of some uh, uh, content, original 4K content uh, that they've encoded at uh, at several at several bit rates, and those are uh, they've got a 14.5 uh, megabits per second rate for uh, for 4K content. They've got one at 11.5 for 4K. Then there's a 1080 version that's uh, that can stream at uh, 5.8 or 3.7 megabits per second. And finally, a 720 version of that uh, that can stream at 2.8, 2.9, uh, or 1.8 megabits per second. Uh, so what they're doing is they're actually kind of, uh, they don't have an internet connection here, so they're kind of uh, faking it by, by randomly switching between these different bit rates as the content uh, rolls by. And you can see the differences in, uh, in image quality. So what they're showing here, um, in, and, and this all runs in, in a browser uh, using HTML5. Uh, they've done it uh, for a, a Chrome browser at this point, but they're, and they're working on an Internet Explorer. Uh, so for the demo, uh, they can basically show the, the content here. This, again, native uh, 4K60 content. Uh, this particular TV is a 4K30 uh, frame uh, device. Um, and so you can, you can watch the content as it adaptively swips, uh, changes from, from one rate to another. Uh, the changes is seamless. You can't see when, it's, when it changes. And the whole point of this is that um, you have a kind of a quality of service. Um, if there are changes in the network for to, to, to stream the content, you'll still be able to get something uh, on the screen. The quality will, will decrease, but you'll have a, uh, a picture there, even all the way down to 720. Now, those parameters are also uh, specifiable uh, by the service provider, so they can set kind of a minimum level of, of quality. Uh, and at which case, if, it, if the network does drop below that, then you'll probably have no, no picture. Uh, but now, so, so that's the whole point of what they're trying to demonstrate here is, is the adaptive ability of, uh, of, this, cap of this device. Uh, the, uh, the other uh, demo that they're showing is, uh, is next door, and that's a, a demo of, uh, of uh, broadcast, over-the-air broadcast, uh, using DVB-T2 uh, uh, transmission. They've got a very uh, small... Uh, uh, transmitter and a very small receiver uh, right next to the TV is actually quite impressive. Uh, and then they're showing uh, encoded 4K uh, 60 content uh, over that transmission link, uh, playing now on a, on, a, on a Toshiba 4K display, which can support uh, 60 frames. So that looks a actually pretty good. Uh, there are a few little artifacts in there, um, but to um, you know, those that that seems to be well, that's the case of what it is. Um, now, what's what's also interesting about the the the, M, the, the dash demo is, uh, as the bit rate changes and you go down, let's say to a 1080 or a 720 uh, signal that's arriving, um, that's also being scaled and upconverted to 4K by the TV. So you're seeing kind of two effects here: uh, an effect of uh, uh, of reduced uh, uh, bit rate uh, and lower resolution, and potential scaling artifacts. So yes, you can definitely see when it changes. Um, but um, uh, the, the point of this is not really to look, well, it's partly to look at the image quality, but it's also to say that, to, to prove that you can sw switch these things uh, fairly seamlessly. Um, they have also just finished shooting uh, a sequence in, uh, in 4K at 100 frames, 200 frames, and 300 pr frames per second. Uh, and they're going to start to uh, analyze that content. Now there's no real displays out there that can then, then sh and show play that back at the at those frame rates, at least not the high ones. Um, but this is going to be kind of test footage that they want to put together for the industry to start to play around with uh, with higher frame rate uh, content. Uh, so the Forever project is a is a collaborative European uh, or, um, project uh, with Orange, ATEM, French Television, Technicolor, Teamcast, uh, Highlands Technology Solutions, Globecast, uh, IETR, which offers a, uh, an industry open source uh, 4K decoder, HEVC decoder. Uh, and telecom. So that's um, that's the story here from the Forever Project. Uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.